Welcome in everyone. Back with another Once Human video. Tonight we're going to be doing some Once Human Silo Hard Mode Solo Runs. I'm running an Icy Rain build. Go over that real quick. So I have the Icy Rain. It's a two star calibration 10 weapon uh, as my primary backup for longer range engagement is the Soaker Outsider. But on my Icy Rain, I'm running the Vortex Multiplier. Uh, point of note, my mods are very much work in progress. I'm waiting till pro modes to really get good rolls on those. But we get a Vortex Multiplier on here, which is important for the number of Frost Vortexes that can be formed from this build. Um, my accessories are the forward flash hider, the compact reflex sight, the light front grip. Uh, I have the amended SMG and I am running tungsten SMG ammo. As for my armor, I have three piece shelterer. I have the frost tactical vest and I am running two piece lone wolf. Uh, outside of the mask, these are all just one star gear, all calibrated to level 6. In the hat, I have Deviation Expert. In the mask, I'm running Obliteration. I have Quick Comeback Talents in my chest piece. Bullet Siphon in my legs. I have Crit Boost on my gloves. And Slow and Steady on my boots. Again, these are all work in progress. So you'll see, I mean, the rolls are terrible on some of them. Only a couple of them have ever actually been upgraded. Uh, most of which, probably all of which, will be replaced next week when Pro Modes come out. And to show, I am in week three. We have four days, 13 hours at the time of this recording until week four comes out. Whoa! Hold that thought. Quick interruption, my guy. You forgot to tell him about the cradle for the build. Here we are. Our cradle contains the Deviation Master. Having it fight alongside grants damage plus 50% against Deviants. Very, very important when running the Polar Jelly. Uh, we also have Automatic Weapon Enhancement. Damage plus 20% when holding SMGs, Rifles, or LMGs. Reload 10% of the magazine capacity from reserve upon defeating an enemy. Very, very helpful with the build. Status Enhancement. After hitting a weak spot, status damage plus 25% for 3 seconds. Very useful. Doesn't help in every fight. But when it does, you can definitely see that damage bonus. Sustained suppre uh, suppression. We have killing an enemy with continuous damage, such as burn or frost vortex. Increases continuous damage by plus 20% for 10 seconds, stackable up to 3 times. Very, very helpful in clearing trash. Uh, we also have weapon damage plus 20% for 4 seconds after switching weapons or reloading. Doesn't help us all the time, but when we do have to force that reload, very, very handy. We have movement speed plus 5%, running stamina cost minus 15%. Very helpful for, for mobility and survivability since we're an SMG build, we are closer range. We also have rapid aid, which reduces the cooldown of healing items by 30%, increases the healing effect by 15%. Again, we're going to take damage, we are a closer range build not as close as a shotgun mind you but we do have to still get pretty close in a lot of fights and we also have agility after rolling damage reduction plus 15 percent for four seconds again very great for survivability up close so we can keep that damage down now back to the rest of the video so let's get into this we're going to be starting with silo sigma on hard mode and the current weekly uh, effects are penetration damage 25 plus 25% against Rosetta 
Uh, enemies take plus 10% damage when hit on weak spots and minus 15% damage when hit elsewhere. And the boss mutation is bosses deal more damage as their HP decreases to a maximum of 30% damage when HP falls to 20%. Um, one other point of note in my cradle, I am running uh, a 4-4 four, four Polar Jelly for my boss DPS burst phases. Let's get this started. Also, my food buff is literally just canned meat uh, with 10% HP buff on it. You can see I can burn through trash fairly quickly. As long as I'm maintaining good... Up time on the buffs or procs rather then I'm in pretty good shape not bothering with loot um, I should be but on this run I am not we're just going straight for the bosses to prove out the build up it's going to be the seepage zone I've gotten used to doing a little more ADS uh, with this build for longer range. Uh, obviously, I'm a little beyond my prime range, but the one great thing about Frost is it does not have a damage drop off the further away you are. funky things seem to be going on right now. It's going to slow down the ability to stand up front here.
There's a damn teddy bear. Go, teddy bear down. Finish off the charging. And success. Save my controller for the pro modes. And now we're on to the final boss. Out of the seepage zone, up around the corner. Now I've struggled with this boss a little bit um, early on because of his shield phase. Phase right here. Ah, oh, that could have done without that. And victory. Not too bad. You see, I used the jelly there early to help burst him down. We got the victory. All right, that'll do it for this uh, this dungeon. And here we come out, seven hundred sixty-six thousand five hundred eleven total damage done. Solo showdown. I will see you all over at the next silo. All right, and here we are at the next silo, silo five. Again, hard mode, solo. We have this week Deviant Scourge Suppression plus 25% against Deviants. Uh, retaliation after being attacked, the enemy will increase its own damage over time, reaching a maximum of plus 35% damage after 8 seconds. And the boss mutation is bosses take 90% damage in normal state and 115% damage when affected by continuous damage effects, such as the Frost Vortex. So we actually get a little bit of a, an advantage on this one. But let's get into it. Can lunch meat. Come to me. So I don't have to fight them all the same one at a time. Stuck in it. No, I said. That. That doggy.
pick that one up. Down the elevator we go. To the seepage zone. Definitely want the activators and stuff to keep up with our medical stocks. I also forgot to drink some corn ale for the... Sanity. Alright, on hard mode, I prefer to fight from the room so I don't have to deal with the poison. Hi, doggy. I'm not getting very lucky right now on my rocks. advantage with this or I can't get up close to get my procs off. Decide to try and make the boom boom build later. We're in good shape. Would have liked the nice Chefosaurus, but a Pyrodino is an excellent get. Hey, I hit the button. Come on, open, says me. Didn't need our polar jelly there. We'll save that for the final boss. Doggy's back. Oh, poor doggy. He got blown up. <laughs> I do love that frost vortex. All right. Go away, gas bags. We'll grab these crates just in case they have something good, the weapon crates and stuff, but... Excuse me? until I get rid of these nests. They're usually back here. One of two. Where's the other one at? Over here. Ah, hey! Not nice, Mr. Guy. Cha cha, there's victory. I'll take that. 
Ooh, almost wasted a controller there. There we go. That is Silo Phi complete. Next on the list is going to be Silo Theta. And I will see you when I get over there. I almost forgot. Silent Phi, uh, Silo Phi, level 50. Dungeon settlement complete. Solo showdown, as you can see, 866,000 total damage. I did use some healing items there, but it's to be expected. As I said, on to Silo Theta. All right, and here we are at Silo Theta. Recommended players three. We are again solo. The weekly bonuses are Deviant Scourge. I say weekly debuffs. Deviant score, suppression damage, plus 25% against Deviants. Spiderling, the enemy takes plus 10% damage, but there's a chance that a spider or a swarm will appear nearby. And the boss mutation is Winged Warriors. When the boss's HP falls below 33%, it will summon 9 swarms. The boss takes minus 10% damage for each living swarm on the battlefield and acquires plus 10% dam uh, vulnerability once all swarms are dead. This could prove interesting. Well, let's get into it. There was another player queuing for a dungeon there. They are not in my group. As you can see, we have come in solo. Sorry, chat. Kitty time. Mwah. He's demanding attention of me. We're going to bypass all of this as per our usual run. Run past all of this. Up the emergency med kit. One clear, two clear, three clear. Let's get over here, grab the weapon crate, and into the seepage zone. Down here, you can see there he is below the ground. And we're gonna go two, three, two, three, two. That one doesn't move. down clean up the uh... extra couple of mobs here go get our loot again saving our controllers for pro modes With next week's commissions, that should leave me around 160 or so controllers for pro modes. We'll be doing a lot of uh, grinding those out for getting some good mods. Uh, before we leave, let's get our med kit bag. Become very low on the polydetoxidant. Making medical supplies. Grab that on our way. Away. past all that thank you 
spring legs. Oh, we, we ran out of... Ran out of stamina. Anyone else? No? There was someone else. It's mistaken. Sometimes spring legs can be a bit of a pitfall. Normally, really great to have, but sometimes can be really a pitfall. Alright. Here we go. Boss time. Eliminate the puffball spores. One, two, three, spores down, finish burning the boss. Who needs the killer's weak spots? That is success right there. Our loot from that. There is a medical box up here usually, as I said. Get low on some of that stuff, so we'll grab that and head off to the next silo. Here are our results. Sacrament silo theta complete. Solo showdown, 609,000 damage. Those bosses went down really quick. But that'll do it for that one. On to the next one. All right, and next on the list, we have Securement Silo Alpha. Uh, the weekly mutations will be Rosetta Scorch. Penetration damage plus 25% against Rosetta. Uh, side effects, we have also Battlefield Mutation. The enemies take 85% damage in normal state and 115% damage when affected by continuous damage effects. Yay for Frost Vortex! Uh, the boss mutation, of course, is Storming. Bosses deal damage as their HP in, uh, decreases to a maximum plus 30% damage when HP falls to 20%. So they will get a little bit... Uh, tougher as they go down that's all right though so let's get into it runs have been going very well so far don't expect this one to go any less perfect landing I don't get that right very often And they call themselves Rosetta Agents. Well, he certainly ain't. Not anymore. <laughs> I feel like the server's being a little laggy tonight. My procs aren't going off near as fast as they usually do. Uh, in between the last recording and now, I actually did do a couple little odds and ends, and see, they, they, there you see it. The server seems very laggy to open things, and that usually will affect procy builds like this one, where it relies on procs. Uh, especially the higher the fire rate of, of the weapon. Which the Icy Rain does have a very high fire rate. I'm glad to see they nerfed these lasers from beta. These were really bad in the beta. That's how you shut them off there. They were a nightmare to deal with in beta. 
all troops stick to your positions. I won't. Well, unlike you, I'm not a stormtrooper, so sorry. Oh, the reload didn't go off. Yeah, static shock mod. Might be nice if we go back to a uh, static shock build. Of course, as you can see, I do have the Outsider as my secondary weapon simply because uh, a high crit build with high status slash elemental damage, it will still benefit even though we don't have the Cradle or uh, mods set up for it. How rude. Oh, there's no... Usually there's a gun of placement down there. Storage crate. I wanted the emergency med kit. That painted mask. All right. Let's breeze through this. Here we are at the. Zone, and this is why you always carry a stun baton. Meaning the Rosetta mechanics, not the game mechanics. Those Rosetta mechanics can be a right pain in the ass with their stupid drones. Alright. Drop the jelly and let's burn this biatch. Deviant down. Deviant down. I don't know why I'm hitting the reload. Oh, I was off by one bullet. Oh well. Alright. Seepage zone done. On to the boss. Give it just a second for the jelly to recharge. Beauty of having that 4-4 jelly, I can drop it during that boss. And it's recharged for this one in very quick order. Is there even a boss there? That went quick chat. There we have it. Leave the dungeon. Securement silo alpha down. Yeah, that went really quick. Total damage 456,000. There was barely anything in that. Then again, we didn't kill half of it. So, uh, that completes that silo. We'll be on to the next one be silo ex-1 and i'll see you over there all right and here we are at securement silo-ex1 
Weekly mutations are Deviant Scourge. Suppression damage plus 25% against Deviants. Retaliation. After being attacked, the enemy will increase its own damage over time, reaching a maximum of plus 35% damage after 8 seconds, if they live that long. And boss mutation is 90% damage in normal state and 115% when attacked by continuous damage effects. Excellent. Let's get to it. Alright, and in this securement silo, there is no seepage zone, so it's straight into the boss. Uh, after playing some red light, green light. Shouldn't take but a moment. Hasta la pasta. Nope, no for you. No passengers. Going down, down, down. Pass these guys. throwing shit at me. Hey. No touchy. not a fan of these elites. They can be so freaking tanky. Alright. Access card secured. We're skipping the gear crate at the beginning. Honestly, I've forgotten about it as I came down, so I'm not going to turn around and run back for it. We can skip this. Go. That's open. That's that guy. In we go. Red light, green light time. Green light. If you're decent, you can make it halfway. Start the gear crate before the red light. So he doesn't get in our way on the way by. Green light. Nice, we made it. Try and get to this pillar before he starts his phase. Dang it, I moved. I'm glad I did. I'm stuck, but I'm glad I moved. Otherwise, that one right there would have had a shot on me. Now the fun part. I forgot this boss doesn't actually take damage from my frost vortex. He is immune, so it's straight weapon and crit damage on the weak spots, which is not this gun's strong suit. Let's see if we switch over to the outsider. Nope. My icy rain back. That's our cue to hide behind the pillar. 
Eh, we got him a little less than half health during that phase. We might, yeah, we might have to go three phases. Damn it! That last second budge every time it hits me. Gets me every time. First guy can't just sit still and let me shoot him. He's got to move all over the place. I thought that might be the case. Should have just let the jelly take that guy. There it is. He's not very fun. I don't know why I just wasted a healing shot there. But, there's that securement silo down. X1 complete. Total about 1 million damage. Not too shabby. Alright, we will see you back in just one moment at Silo Psy, the last and final silo of the night. All right, and last but not least, we have Securement Silo Psy. Our mutations are penetration damage, 25% against Rosetta. Enemy takes 85% damage in normal state and 115% when affected by continuous damage effects. And bosses deal more damage as their HP decreases. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. Let's get into it. Sit down. That guy. Rude. So much for them. Key card out of the box here. I can grab the key card out of the box, please. Oh, bridge boss. All right, down the corner. Another small room to deal with.
All right, around the corner. This room here, we actually have to clear all the enemies out of. be interesting frost damage against the fridge boss this guy is normally quite a pain in the rear end simply because he like several of these bosses does not take damage from the frost effect right, we still have our spring legs active and we want to wait for that that's how you bypass that one all right top off our health and before I start this off we're gonna start up the staircase so we're gonna have to break these generators once we get started here He got me. <laughs> Polar jelly wiped him out. That's it. Final silo down. Claim our rewards. And let's see what we did. All right. Silo Psy complete. Solo showdown once again. 537,971 damage to finish out our hard mode silos on a solo run. Glad you all stuck around for this part of the video if you have don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe so you can catch me in the next video or when i'm live i stream both here on youtube and on twitch uh twitch tv twitch.tv forward slash darius underscore frost i will leave a link in the description down below um and yeah frost vortex very very impressive build uh next time we'll be doing solo bosses on hard mode till then take care have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you next time <laughs>